What can wash away our sins? Nothing. Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. The shed blood of the Lord Jesus. The blood, the Bible says that with her, the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Meaning that there is no forgiveness of sin. He came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh yes, what can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Hello. Precious is the flow that makes me white, white as snow. Out of hands, I know nothing. The blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, there's nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, 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 my Father, this I see, I feel by the blood, the blood of Jesus, oh, my blessing, this I believe nothing, by the blood, the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is a flow that makes me white as snow. And I found I know not nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. There is nothing, it's only one thing. It's all about the blood of Jesus, the shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. He died on the cross and resurrected and brought salvation unto man. Uh, yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. Oh. This is all my hope and peace. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And this is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is a flood that makes me wise. As no, no, I found, I know nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, it's all about the blood of Jesus, the shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your death, your death and resurrection. Hallelujah. Father, once again, we give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you for the wonderful moment before your presence. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. In your heart has a pleasure. Thank you for an, another opportunity before your presence. Speak to us, Master, in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, we bring you greetings from God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. It is our prayer that the Spirit of God will continue to lead us. The Bible says, as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of the Lord. Jesus told us when he met the woman at the well, in John chapter 4, he said that in the verse 23, a day is coming, and now is the time that the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Truth 
meaning that Jesus is the truth. John said that the law was given to us by Moses, but truth and grace came through our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Spirit through the Holy Spirit. Jesus said it was expedient for me to go. If I don't go, the comforter, meaning that the Holy Spirit will not come. When he comes, he will guide us into all truth. In this end time, you need the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit's guidance. That the Holy Spirit will guide you. Hallelujah. Again, Jesus is coming. We are in the week celebrating of the Easter, the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Many people don't believe it. But I, every day I will tell you that those who are perishing, those who are lost, it is foolishness. But to us is the power of God unto salvation. He died that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus said, The thief cometh not but to steal to kill. But I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. There is no way you can find life except in Jesus Christ. Except in Jesus Christ. And he is coming back again. Again he is coming back again. And he has his reward. He has his reward, and he will give to everybody according to our works. What are come some of the works that you are leaving behind? When you read Revelation 14 and the verse 13, he said, Blessed is he who will die in the Lord, and our works will follow us. He said, He will rest in his labor, and his works will follow him. What are some of the things that we are doing? There is a book in heaven. The names are being recorded. Our Jesus will come. The one who died and resurrected. He is coming. And he has his reward in his son. Do that want us to consider the, best, uh, the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. He died. It was prophesied that he would, he would die. And he died. There were many prophecies that gone out before Jesus Christ was born. And he, he died and he resurrected. And my prayer is that you believe it. Every day, listen to me. Jesus Christ does not belong to everybody. Not everybody will understand his birth, his death, and his resurrection, and his second coming. If you don't understand his first coming, his birth, you will never understand his second coming. Jesus is not for everybody. You ask me why? Because the Bible says in John chapter 1, verse 11 and 12, he says he came for his own, but his own received him not. As many that received him, to them he gave power to become the children of God. And so them that believe in him, them that accept, they accept him. And so not, not everybody will accept Jesus Christ. Because to some, he is just a prophet. So to some, he, he does not exist. To some, he is an old grandfather. To some of us, he is, he is the Lord and our God. Hallelujah. He is God. He is God. He is coming back again. And he has his reward in his hand. It's no year Jesus is a mystery. Knowing Jesus Christ is a mystery. Let me go read Colossians. I'll read Colossians chapter 1. I'll read verse 26 and listen to. He said, Even the mystery which had been hidden from ages and from generation, but now is made manifest to his saints, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this ministry among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And so knowing Jesus Christ is a mystery. And that is why some people don't understand why people believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is King. He is Lord. And He will come back again. If the gospel is hidden, it is hidden to them that are lost because the God of this earth has blind their mind. His name is Jesus Christ. His name is Jesus Christ. We're going to talk about his triumphant entry. And you, you, you know that his death was recorded by all the gospel. It was recorded by the gospel. Matthew recorded it. Matthew recorded it. Mark recorded it. And Luke also recorded it. Luke recorded it. How he was, he was killed. And he's coming back again. My prayer is that you believe it. 
And when you believe it, it becomes a mystery to you, a strength to you, and you will prepare. And I know it's always at last. Jesus Christ wrote a letter to the churches, to the five churches, through uh, seven, John at the island of Patmos. And to every church, he ended by saying, they that have ears, let them hear what the Spirit says. And so not everybody have the ear of the Spirit to understand the things of the Spirit. If you are gracious, or if you have the permission, or God has been gracious to you to understand His birth, my brother, my sister, continue to believe. Our Jesus is coming. Our Jesus is coming. <laughs> May you have favor and belief in the name of Jesus. Let's turn our Bibles to Matthew chapter 26. Matthew 26. Where Jesus Christ was heading to a place called Gethsemane. A place called Gethsemane. It was a place where he was going to be arrested. And a place where he will be sent. And he will be sent to the judges. And a place where he will not come back again. And he died. The reason why he came to die. That we may have life and have it more abundantly. His name is Jesus Christ. His name is Jesus Christ. The same is recorded Matthew 26 and Mark chapter 14 and Luke also recorded it in Luke chapter 22. Hallelujah. Matthew 26 it says, and it came to pass when Jesus has finished all these sayings, he said unto his disciples, you know that after two days is the feast of Passover and the son of man is betrayed to be crucified. Oh, Jesus Christ. He knew everything. He is the Alpha and Omega. And so, after two days, he called his disciples. He said, it's only two days that the Passover, the Passover <laughs> whoa, 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 will be celebrated. And the Son of Man will be betrayed. And <laughs> he will be, be crucified. The assembly together, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders and all the people unto the palace of the high priest who was called Cephas. And so Jesus Christ was the Passover lamp. Jesus is the Passover lamp. And when we read Exodus, we go to Exodus, we're going to see Exodus. Moses, Exodus, Moses. <laughs> called them that they should Moses called them <laughs> and all the, this, uh, the the Israelites Exodus chapter 12 Christ will be the Passover lamp he will be the Passover lamp Exodus chapter let me go to Exodus chapter 12 Exodus chapter 12 and I'll read from 21 through 27 and you see that it was Jesus Christ Jesus is was the Passover lamb and he was sacrificed uh, so that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus told them, I'll be arrested. Somebody will betray me and I'll be arrested and I'll be crucified. He knew it. It was prophesied in the Bible. In the olden days, and I, we will talk about it as I preach. I'll tell you some of the prophecies, some of the things that were spoken about his death and his resurrection. Exodus chapter 12. Exodus 12, I read from verse 21. Listen to the word of God. And then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said unto them, Draw out and take a lamp according to your families and kill the Passover. Kill the Passover. And he shall take a, a bunch of hypos and dip it into the blood that is in the basin and strike the, the lentil and the two sides post with the blood that is in the basin and none of you shall go out the door of his house until the morning for the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians and when he sees the blood upon the lentil on the two sides of post the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in into your house to be smitten to be smitten and he shall observe this thing 
for an ordinance to this thee and to thy sons forever and it shall come to pass when ye be come to the land which the lord will give you according as he had promised that ye shall keep this service and it shall come to pass when your children shall say unto you what mean ye be this service that ye shall say it is the sacrifice of the lord's passover who passed over the house of the children of israel in egypt when he smit the egyptian and delivered the house and the people bowed down their heads and so moses did the passover with the blood of the bull and represent the sacrifice that jesus christ was coming to be sacrificed to save us and so when moses marked the lentil and marked the item to mark he told them when the destroyer comes when the one who is coming to destroy when he see the blood he will pass over the blood of our lord jesus christ the death and the resurrection of our lord jesus christ jesus told them very soon i will be sacrificed i'll be sacrificed and he told them about that that very soon you will sacrifice you will be betrayed i pray in the name of jesus christ my brother my sister that you understand you will understand the death and the resurrection of our lord jesus christ and from there the bible says that as they, they gather together the chief priests the scribes the elders and the people unto the palace of the high priest who was Cephas and consulted that they might take Jesus Christ by scepter and kill him. There was a gathering and all the gathering was that they were discussing how they can arrest Jesus Christ. They can arrest Jesus Christ and, and what? And, and kill him. They might arrest Jesus Christ and kill him. They plotted to kill him. And so the, there was a plot and it was there was a prophecy psalm 31 and verse 13 he said for i hear many whispering terror on every side they conspire against me and plot to take my life and so <laughs> the psalm also prophesied and he says early in the morning all the chief priests and the elders and the people made their plans how they have they have want to execute the lord jesus christ you see that the bible gave us prophecies about his birth and his death everything was recorded everything was recorded and let me go and also read the scripture and you see that it was even also prophesied that he will be sold jesus will be sold he will be betrayed and be sold for 30 pence zachariah chapter 11 verse 12 and 13 open your bible and see zachariah also prophesied <laughs> the psalm was written by david david also spoke about how you will be betrayed and so the every part of the lord jesus christ was prophesied somebody said i don't believe it the mind cannot comprehend you cannot you can this mind cannot comprehend that is why i will every day tell you not everybody will believe in the lord jesus christ remember jesus even said many are called but few are chosen it's only few people that will give their life and live a faithful life live a righteous life for the coming of our lord jesus christ coming of our lord jesus christ yesterday i posted our uh, easter convention flyer a guy wrote another con uh, uh, another the flyer why do you deceive yourself why do you deceive yourself it's not easter it's the meaning lack of knowledge and <laughs> i was just smiling i was just smiling a brother my sister child of god listen oh we know that he came into this world that we may have life and have it more abundantly i am not ready for any doctrine i am not ready for any teaching all i know that i have seen him and i know him and he's coming and he has his reward in his hand yusuba yusuba my brother my sister he's coming Zachariah chapter 11 verse 12 to 13 he said I told them if you think it best give me a pay but if not keep it 
So they paid me 30 pieces of silver. <laughs> so it is in Zachariah. And the Lord said to me, throw it into the potter. And the handsome price at which they follow me. So I took the 30 pieces of silver and threw them into the potter at the house of the Lord. It was recorded. It was recorded. And Jesus told them that it's, it's about Passover. I go that the Son of Man is betrayed. They gathered. They had the chief priests gathered together. A man who knew no sin. A man who came to lay down his life for us. But every prophecy that was prophesied should come to pass. I am talking about the birth, uh, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. How all, it all began when he was going into the garden of Gethsemane. He sat down and ate the Passover and with, with his disciples before they gathered together. Uh, but they said, not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar among the people. Now when Jesus was in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, and so they gathered together and they said to them, said the high priest, it was the high priest, they were the chief priests, the Sadducees, the people of the book. Why? They thought that Jesus was trying to be what he is not. Jesus was trying to be what he is not. And he is Lord. Jesus is Lord. He will come back again. Go into the Bible. Go and Google or go to the YouTube and search people who have seen the end time the coming people who have seen heaven and hell and listen to it very careful you have thousands of people from all walks of life you have americans you have africans you have indians you have muslims and they will tell you they saw heaven they saw hell and they saw the lord jesus christ nobody will tell you i saw muhammad nobody will tell you i saw buddha nobody will say i saw this yes till you don't believe you sit down and give excuses you sit down because you have preachers who compromise with the who uh, no, compromise and not preach the truth to you you have preachers who will not preach the truth to you jesus is lord you have people who will not preach truth they will not preach the truth to you and they will tell you go around they have their own gospel thank god we have only one gospel the gospel of righteousness is the lord jesus christ he came down you may have life you cannot find life in anybody he's the way the truth and life no one comes to the father but by him jesus told them i am the resurrection and life he died that you may have life and have it more abundantly his name is jesus christ his name is jesus christ and he's coming back he has a sword ask yourself do you know him do you know the lord jesus have you seen him have you seen him yes many people have heard about him many people have have heard about him many people have come into the christian dome, but few people have repented few people are, are, are walking in righteousness don't let it be too late for you. Jesus said, <laughs> He is coming. Many will come and say, I did this in your name. I did this. And you say, Get thee out of me. You that did not do or walk in truth. There will be a lot of surprises at the gates of heaven because there is no going to be favoritism when you get to heaven. The only path that you can have to enter is your garment of righteousness, your life. The life that you led on this earth, the things that you did on this earth, will be the path that will, will, will give you an entry into heaven. Somebody say you don't believe, you sit down and pride yourself and use your mind to, to counteract and not give about anything. And I know it's always as last. Jesus told us about the, the story about the rich man and Lysros. Had everything when they died. Lazarus went into the bosom of Abraham, went into the bosom of Abraham. And the rich man went to hell because the, the, the Lazarus served the Lord, served the Lord. And the rich man said, Lazarus, dip your hand in the water and come and cool my tongue. He said, there is a big gap between us. And said, that, let me go into the world and tell my brothers, my sisters, that it is true. 
He said there are Moses and there are people that are preaching the gospel. Yes, so many people will not believe. They will not believe. Nobody, some people, when they hear you mention the name of Jesus, they will turn off their phones, they will turn off their radios, they will turn off everything. You become a, they will, I pray in the name of don't turn it. Because one day, Amos said, a day is coming that the famine will come, hunger will come, not the hunger of food or water, but the word of God. People will be running to and fro, wanting to hear the word of God, and they will not hear. Jesus loves you, and Jesus is passing you away. My prayer is that you repent and love him, serve him. They gathered together to kill him because they thought that he was not God. But they did not know that they were fulfilling the prophecy. They were fulfilling the prophecy. I was prophesying. Then there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box, a very precious ornament, and poured it on his head as he sat at the meat. Jesus sat, but his disciples saw it and had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this that wasted? They thought that, you see, everything was a prophecy concerning the birth of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Even the disciples, they were working with Jesus Christ. And some of the things that happened, they did not even understand. Let's hear what Jesus said. For this ornament might have been sold for much and given to the poor. That was what the disciples thought. And Jesus said, when Jesus understood it and said unto them, Why trouble you, ye this woman? For she had wrought a good work upon me. For you have the poor always with you, but me you have not always. For in that she had poured this ornament on my body. She did it for my barrier. Hallelujah. The woman did it. She poured an ornament on Jesus, signifying that he was going to be buried. Jesus prophesied. He spoke about his, his birth and his death. He spoke about it. How many, how many will believe? In our end time generation, we see the, the, the world coming to an end. We see everything. Our eyes is seeing how the world is going. Corona comes. Uh, corona comes. And everybody is running uh, to cover. And people started worshiping God. Because when people see the things, then they, 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 they decide to run to Jesus. But many people have come to Jesus, not because they want to accept him, but because of the things that they want. Repent and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other way. There is no other one. The Bible says on the, that day he stood on the mountain uh, on the mountain and shouted, "If anybody tastes, let him come to the waters and drink. Out of your belly shall flow living waters. Come to him. Come and buy with that money." Isaiah also prophesied, "Come." Come to him and buy, buy one. He say, everyone that takes come ye to the waters, and he that had no money come ye, buy and eat. Ye come buy wine, buy milk without money and without price. How many will come to the Lord Jesus Christ? We continue to preach the true word of a lot to many people, but nobody wants to hear. Nobody want to hear. Nobody want to hear. God bless you, Stephen Ennett. Good morning. God, good morning, woman of God. Stephen, God bless you, Ennett. Oh, Jesus is coming. And he has his reward. He died. And he said he was coming back. And he will come back. He will come back. Jesus said that the woman poured the ornament on him to represent his barrier. Somebody who had to not die, but he was talking about his death. He was talking about his death. He said, Verily I say unto you, whatsoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this woman's name will be mentioned. Then one of the twelve came, called Judas Iscariot, went unto the chief priest. You see, Zachariah prophesied that Jesus Christ will be sold. For 30 pence. I wrote it, I, I read it to you. Again, let me go read Zechariah chapter 11, verse 12 and 13. It says, I told you, if you think it best, give me, me my pay. 
But if not, keep it. So they paid me 30 pieces of silver. Jesus was sold for 30 pieces of silver. 30 pieces. Zachariah prophesied more than 500, 600 years before this happened. Jesus called them and told them, one of you will betray me. One of you will betray me. And you see that Jesus told it before. Before. Uh, 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 Judas, yesterday, he could not do anything. He could not repent. The same thing is going on. There are many people who are hearing the word of God, but have had in their heart. They don't, I, don't, they don't, I don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't believe in anything. My brother, my sister, a child of God. Hey, this uh, this proudness, this, hey, a day is coming. I, if you don't know, go to the hospitals. Go to the hospitals. Go to the emergency wards. And human beings, human beings created in the image of God, you see them, the nurses and the doctors. You see, one of the things that God has given to man, it is very good, but the same thing is hurting us. Is the, the spirit of forgetfulness. And so people who see it, we go to funerals, and nowadays we go to Africa, especially my country, Ghana, and my people, they are shanties, my people. <laughs> funerals have become a celebration the fun is they celebrate they go and eat and enjoy some go to drink but they have forgotten that one day they also will be laid in certain people will come we don't we easily forget instead of thinking about it and straight in our way that is why the bible says that they that have ears and the elders also said a way to a wise is enough it is only the wise that thinks about things and begin to prepare our Jesus will come Jesus will come go to the, the emergency world how people are, are dying how people are dying <laughs> a lady call me and say she's a nice work at the ER emergency office uh, emergency ward and said pastor today I am very sad I said why said they brought a lady a beauty how beautiful you look at her nails everything she had a heart attack, cardiac arrest. And before they got there, she has collapsed. And the woman came and died. And she said, I couldn't look at her. Look at how beautiful. And uh, do you know, maybe that, 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 that woman, if you have, had gone there to preach the gospel, she would have insulted you. Because the thing that having a little money and having everything, is everything the world belongs to them. Hey, the world belongs to somebody. He belongs to our God. He is coming and he has his reward. I pray that you will understand. It takes the spirit of God. That is why the Bible said, as many that are led by the spirit of God, they are the children of God. As many that are led by the spirit of God, they are the children of God. Allow yourself for the Holy Spirit to lead you. You cannot understand the gospel with this mind. That is why we have many universities we have big big universities we have big big professors and doctors and uh, how many of them even understand the bible do you know when jesus christ was choosing his disciples he did not go to the theological seminaries he did not go to the university he did not go to the army barracks he went to the show he went to the show he went to the show people who even had no education but when he resurrected and when they had, they received the holy spirit go and read as of the apostle chapter 4 read verse 12 going when they saw them they look at them the boldness the wisdom and the knowledge that they spoke they said these men have walked with the lord jesus christ because they have an excellent spirit and that spirit was in caleb when you read joshua 14 24 and go and read daniel chapter 6 it was these people they had an excellent spirit because the spirit of god was in them it is the spirit that empowered I pray in the name of Jesus that you believe. Again, listen to me. Jesus is not for everybody. Yeah, but many people, he said, go into the world and preach the gospel. Preach the gospel. <laughs> Those who hear, baptize them. Meaning that some will not accept. Some will not receive. Some will not receive. And so, me, when I go out, I will preach, I preach the gospel. I tell people about Jesus. Some will insult us. Some will, will, will even drive us away. Others will receive it. And so I am not worried because we, he told us what will happen. He died. 
Jesus Christ. I am talking about his birth. He said, Then one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went unto the chief priests and said unto them, What will you give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they covenanted with him for 30 pieces of silver. They came together and said, We are going to give you 30 pieces of silver. Something that Zacharias already prophesied. <laughs> and from that time, he sought an opportunity to betray him. Now on the first day of the feast, on the, on the living breath, the disciple came to Jesus saying unto him, Where O thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to a man and say unto him, The master said, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with his disciples. And the disciples followed up. The Bible says, and the disciples did as Jesus has appointed them. And they made ready for the Passover. <laughs> Somebody who is the Passover lamp. <laughs> Celebrating the Passover. It takes, it takes, it takes the, the wise. It takes those who have the Spirit of God to know that Jesus Christ is the Passover lamp. And so, John said in Revelation, in the midst of the throne, I saw a lamp that was slain, and it was the Lord Jesus Christ. This was the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody will hear this and get angry. I will not understand. I thank God that I know him. I thank God that I know the Lord Jesus Christ. Life is all about Jesus Christ. It's not about your riches. It's not about anything. That is why the Bible says, godliness with contentment is a great game. When you know Jesus Christ and you encounter Jesus Christ, you become content and desperate life. You, you walk and always you are happy. The peace of God transcends. Every understanding will be upon you. His name is Jesus Christ. His name is Jesus Christ. A name when you mention, people get angry. It is only a name that people can kill you because of that name. Because of that name. <laughs> it is a very powerful name. The Bible says he humbled himself and was given a name. Under the mention of the name, every knee bow. Hear me. That name is Jesus Christ. That name is Jesus Christ. <laughs> it makes the wise simple. <laughs> Hallelujah. It makes it the, the foolish things of this, this world to shame the wise. Is that name. There is healing in the name. There is salvation in the name. The Bible says the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared unto all men. Teaching us how to deny ungodliness. Live a righteous life. Live a righteous life. Hallelujah. Again, the power, the Bible said the power, the kingdom of God is not beat and bread. It is of power. It is of righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. It's Jesus Christ. They sat down. They went to keep the Passover. They went and they gathered themselves together. They found a place. And now when the, the evening was come, he sat down with the twelve. He sat down with the twelve. And let's see, Jesus was not there when Judas went to the high priest, consulted them, and they paid him. They had already given him money, take a bribe to come and betray the Lord Jesus Christ. But when he came, in, even in the midst, when they were, we were taking the Passover, Jesus told him, Matthew chapter 26, Matthew chapter 26, Verse 21, and as they did it, he said, Verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. And they were exceedingly sorrowful, and begin one of them to say unto him, Lord, is it I? And he said, answered and said, He that did his hand with me in the dish, the same will betray me. The same will betray me. I every day, every day I will tell you, be careful with people. There are many people, they are more than Judas Iscariot. Many lives have been destroyed. Many marriages have been, have, have been, have failed. Many homes have been destroyed because of there are people who come closer to you. They will pretend that they love you. Again, listen, not everything that smile to you love you. Be careful. Be careful, a child of God. Be careful. I always thank God for one woman of God. One woman of God. <laughs> a reverend Asante, someone Asante, Mama Emily, Mama told me, he said, I suffer because of the work of God. Not everywhere you have to eat. Be careful with people. Be careful with people. And I thank God for that advice. Be careful. 
Judas was eating with the Lord Jesus. He was dipping the hands with the Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday, he had already sold Jesus Christ. He had already collected money. Came to sit down with the Lord Jesus Christ. And was eating with the Lord Jesus Christ. It is happening in our generation. It is happening in our days. I pray that the Lord will give you an understanding of this life. Be careful, the child of God. Be careful, somebody. Be careful with the life in which you are. Jews, uh, Judas went and he took the money and came back. Well, I am talking about the death. Jesus was on his way many years ago. By this time, he was his, on his way going to die to save me and you. To save you. Yes, to somebody said, I don't believe it. I don't believe in the birth. Not everybody will understand it. Some people even hear it, but they don't have that a divine understanding. How of them even believe? Somebody asked me, where is heaven? Is heaven going to be in the sky or hell? I said, all I know that there is heaven. Whether it is going to be in the sky or on earth or, or, or under the ground, I don't care. The Bible says it is going to be hell and heaven. People see it. It's in the Bible and people have seen it. I believe it. Hallelujah. When you give your mind to the devil, he will write many things. That is why the Bible says, bring in every thought to the obedience. Bring in every thought to the obedience of Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus that you, you, there are many people that, 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 that are now being confused with the teachings of many people. They are confused. I will never give myself any trouble by li listening and following anybody. I have the word of God. No, no, no word is more inspirational than the Bible that has been given to us. I was listening to a woman and said that the Bible was, was written by a human being. I said, look at, look at her. Who do you, uh, do you want to, to write the Bible? Do you want angels to bring the Bible? Do you want, do you, do you want animals to write the Bible? The Bible said it was God who inspired them to write the word of God. That is why. The Bible, if you believe the Bible, it is the power of God. Do you know how many years people have sought to destroy the Bible and to hide the Bible? You don't know. They conspired that they will kill Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was sold and crucified. Yes, the, the, the gospel continued to thrive. Nobody believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. My brother, my sister, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He says that he that dip his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. And the Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But woe unto the man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had it says it had been good for that the man, if he had not been born, it would have been good. And Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? And he said unto him, Thou hast said it. So Jesus even told him, yesterday he went on and carried it. My brother, the child of God, listen to me. Be careful in this life. Somebody said, even Jesus Christ had only 12, 12 <laughs> disciples, but one of them. And so be careful with the people that comes around you. Be careful of the people that walks around with you. Be careful. Be vigilant. If you want to live a longer life, I am not saying don't, don't have friends. I am not saying that don't gather. I will every day tell you, if you walk with a friend, if you walk with somebody, and you see a little bit of envyness and jealousy in that person, run away. Run away. Run away. Yesterday, my, my daughter told me, Daddy, have you heard what has happened? I said, what has happened? He said, she told me that you know the singer that sang a song. I said, what singer? And she, she began to sing the song. He said, the husband have killed her. I was very sad. I was very sad. I was very sad. I was very sad. <laughs> Good morning, Patrick. <laughs> I was very sad. Children of God, my brother, my sister. Let's be careful and be vigilant. Let's be careful and vigilant. Because hey, Jesus Christ was walking with them. But he told Judas, you... Yes, the Judas went on and, and carried it. It was prophesied. 
I pray in the name of Jesus. If you walk with somebody, whether a, 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 a brother or sister, and that person have a little bit of emptiness, jealousy, you see the, that person that will run away from them. Until you realize your life has already been destroyed. I am not saying don't talk to them. I am not saying that, that don't talk to them. But be careful with them. Be careful with them. One thing I've learned from I've learned from Africans, even there are some pastors. They still call themselves pastors. When they see you even preaching the gospel, they get angry. They get angry. Preaching the gospel and preaching the truth, they get angry. My brother, my sister, child of God, our Jesus is coming. Our Jesus is coming. The Bible says he has reward in his son and he will give on his way to the cross. On his way to the cross, he died that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Believe in the Lord Jesus. Believe in the Lord Jesus. My brother, believe in the Lord Jesus. Continue to hold on to your faith. Continue. In this end time, it is not going to be easy for a Christian to live a righteous life. To live a righteous life. Because in our generation, we called the truth. We mock the truth. And sin is accepted. Sin is in the church. It's in the pulpit. Sin is everywhere. Even some, some, some men and women, they stand in the pulpit and whilst committing sin, sin is in the, in the pulpit. The Bible says when you see the abomination that cause remedy standing in the holy place, whoever has seen it must begin to run understand that the end has come understand when we were growing if you are you you are you are a young girl and you have never seen any man they will applaud you but in, in our generation go to the schools if you are about 20 20 years 25 years and you tell them, I have not seen a man. They will look at you with another eye. They will look at you. I was listening to, to a woman who was saying that even if you are a girl and you have not slept, you live, you become like a, a foolish person, everything. You don't know anything. <laughs> Righteousness, holy life has now, be, has now been mocked. And people are adoring, clapping for sinful, sinful behavior. It's in the churches everywhere. The end time is coming near. It's drawing near. Live. See that you live a righteous life and do the will of God. Our Jesus is coming. It takes few people to understand the things of the cross. Not every mind will understand it. Not every preacher will understand it. There are many of them, they are preaching. They are preaching because they have to feed their family. They are preaching because they think that it is a job. It is not a job, it is a call. It is a call. That is why many people cannot preach the truth. And I will, I will every day say it and I will continue to say that we have been deceived by end time charismatic preachers. We have been deceived by them. And I pray that they will repent the way they preach the gospel. The way they preach the gospel. They, they, none of them will tell you <laughs> that sin is sin. They will come and tell you you are going to have the whole world. You are going to receive everything. Was the person continue to sit in sin? God hates sin. The Bible says, For the wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal life. My prayer is that we begin to live a righteous life. Live a righteous life. When we were growing and the churches that we grew in, everything was about righteous life. The Bible was written through the inspiration. It is <laughs> a mix. <laughs> the wise, the simple. My prayer is that you live a righteous life. Live a righteous life. There is no other gospel. There is no other gospel. Hallelujah. Jesus told him, you betray me. The one. And the Bible says, Judas. Then Judas would betray him and answer, Master, it's me. He says, you. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread. Bless it. Break it and gave it to the disciples and said take it and eat it this is my body and he gave them and said this is and again he took the cup and gave it to them and said drink it he of all for this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for many for remission of sin without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin it's only jesus christ 
It's only Jesus. There is no way to heaven. Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody deceive you. There is no not other way to heaven. It's only Jesus. He said, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father. Somebody who asks me, what about the other religions? I say, let me tell you honestly. In the days of Noah, don't you know that there were other religions? That it was only Noah that found favor. People started worshipping idols. People started worshipping many years ago. In the days of Lord Sodom and Gomorrah, don't you think people have other other religion they did have yes too, they thought it was wise but it was a lot that is why jesus said in luke chapter 17 verse 26 as it, as it was in the days of noah so it shall be they ate and drank they rejoice as it was in the days of lord he said remember lord's wife why because this woman had every opportunity to save her soul she had every opportunity the husband was told <laughs> they were asked to leave but because of these things of this world they seem to many christians sit down because instead of living a righteous life and do their will of god a man of god have told you that oh come and come and give all your retirement savings and the lord is going to make you a billionaire lies 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 in the pulpit sin in the pulpit sin in the pulpit sin in the pulpit show me in the bible where somebody went and saw and all of a sudden his bank account was full lies in the pulpit and nobody will believe when you say it people will get angry people will get angry the truth is hidden jesus said do this until you remember me and from there he went to the garden of Gethsemane. the bible said then come jesus with with them unto the place called Gethsemane and said to his disciples sit here whilst i go and pray on that this is where it all began when jesus was growing he was closer to his death so that you and myself will have salvation that we we will be closer to the the cross we'll be closer to heaven yes still you say you don't believe it because somebody is preaching another gospel and i know it's always at last jesus through john told the churches that we should remember our first love if you have come to jesus worship him serve him then said unto him my soul is exceedingly sorrowful even unto death tarry he here and watch with me and he went a little further fell on his face and prayed saying oh father if it's possible let this cup pass from me nevertheless not as i will but i will be done they were in the garden of Gethsemane in the last i was in the last days of our lord jesus christ where he was about to be crucified he was about to be arrested and judas had, at that time had already gone judas has already gone to the high priest and negotiating how he will betray jesus christ he was sitting down with the lord jesus christ the child of god be careful my brother my sister be careful in this life be careful be careful I every they will tell not every place, not every church you go, you meet Jesus or you see Jesus Christ. Jesus is not everywhere. God is not in every church. Except a church whereby it is led by the Holy Spirit and the Spirit of God is there. And that is why in our end time, go to the social media. One of the, the entities or one of the groups that is mock is the church. One of the groups that is mock is the church. Because we don't have men and women that have been sanctified that have denied themselves and taken up the cross we don't have preachers who who have converted pray in the name of jesus that i will not be one that's all i want to be is as simple as this knowing jesus christ and showing people the way to heaven that is all i want to do because myself i want to go to heaven again any preacher who don't have heaven as his or a go cannot preach righteousness. That is why above four says that the gospel is a cake. China above four say it is it is not the word of God is not true. Because all they are thinking is what they will gain. But they don't have heaven in mind. And so they cannot live a righteous life. They cannot. And they will not live a righteous life. A child of God, listen to me. Whether you believe it or not, whether you believe it or not, Jesus will come and he's coming. 
Somebody said, I don't believe. You sit down. You sit down. And ask yourself, I don't believe I will die. You, you don't want to die. <laughs> ask the nurses and ask the doctors. How, how you, people lose their life. <laughs> I have a daughter. She works at the ER. Barbara. Barbara always, almost every day call me and tell me what is happening. He said, Pastor, people are losing. <laughs> they brought a young girl. They brought this. They brought. I told you, she told me. A woman came and died over there. She said, Ah. And people are losing their life. Yes, so you sit down and say, I don't believe in anything. I don't believe in anything. I thank God I know the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank God. Not, <laughs> not going to church, not holding the Bible, but knowing that He is the resurrection and life, and He will come back again. Our Jesus will come back again. And our Jesus will come back again when he's coming. <laughs> Tell me, show me one man who has the whole world that will die and take even, even he, will, he, he, will, he or she will take her wallet or her bank accounts. Tell me. Tell me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Somebody thinks that give me the whole world. Me, give me Jesus and take the whole world. I want Jesus and I thank God for knowing Jesus Christ. <laughs> Those who don't understand will laugh. Will laugh. Somebody said that we come to this world for money and for fame. Come for this world for money and for fame. There are people who went before us who had fame more than Michael Jackson. I am not saying he did something wrong, but I am saying that with all the fame and the riches, where is he now? Talk about these people. Yes, sir. You sit down and the little, the little money you have and the little, little degrees you have, the brightness you think the whole world belongs to you. Go to the prison, go to the cemetery, go to the mortuaries. It takes only those who have the Spirit of God that will, will learn and understand that there is time for everything on this earth. A time will come that you leave this earth. And when you leave this earth, where are you going? And somebody say that when you die, you have died. It is gone. In our language, we have a, a proverb that we say that if you don't know death, consider sleep. Consider sleep. Yes, you say you don't believe it. It takes those who have the spirit of God. Again, the Bible says, as many that are led by the spirit of God, <laughs> as many that are led by the spirit of God, they are the children of God. Jesus is coming. And he has his reward in his hand. He died that you may have life. The Bible says he was so sorrowful in the garden of Gethsemane. <laughs> in the garden of Gethsemane, he was praying. Jesus Christ was praying. The Bible says he prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. And he came unto his disciples and found them asleep. And said, Peter, what could you not wait? Watch with me an hour. Watch and pray that you enter not into Temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. I read the book by this great man, a man of God, Cho Yonggi, the South Korean man. Uh, Ghana, we call him Yonggi Cho. Cho Yonggi. And he said, the Christian who cannot pray one hour a day, you cannot face the devil. And I understand it. I know it. No wonder Jesus said, many are called, but few are chosen. Few have chosen. That is the reason why many people are preaching the gospel. Instead of being patient for God to bring them where they will rush. And so nowadays, I always say that even when the, 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 the Muslims and the, when they see you at first, when you, you, you are a preacher, they cannot even send you anything. Nowadays, they will force, they, they want to share. Even when you are preaching, they are sharing. They are sharing. They don't fear anything again. They don't fear because these men of God go to them. May heaven forbid. May heaven forbid. I thank God that I am happy in life. And the little I have, I am happy. I, I told a friend, I have never envied anybody. And I will never envy. I will never envy anyone. All, all in life, what I want is the Holy Spirit. All I want is the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God. Somebody says that, look at him. You don't understand. It takes people who have encountered the Lord Jesus Christ to understand some of the things of heaven. People... My prayer is that you understand. Jesus came and they were asleep. He told them, you could not wait me, with me an hour. Watch and pray. 
that you enter not into temptation. The reason why many Christians are failing that they themselves they don't have time to pray. Listen, the reason why I, I, I am saying that the end time charismatic preachers have mislead the church. Listen to me. Jesus told them to pray. Now you go to the church and the men of God will take anointing oil. Wrap it and say, I have prayed for you on the anointing oil. Instead of that woman, that man going home to pray. Think that because somebody has blessed anointing oil, the whole world belongs to me. Take the anointing oil, rub his or her forehead and leave. Lies. Lies. The power is not in the bottle. It is in the Holy Spirit. It is in the Lord Jesus. Lies. 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 And yesterday, continue to do it because of money. When you get the whole world, it loses your life. You have deceived us. I pray in the name of Jesus that, that you may know the truth. And the truth is the Lord Jesus Christ. Go into the Bible. Jesus said, I am the resurrection. I am the bread of life. I am this. I am this. Jesus is all. Yes, to you don't believe. You listen to it. May the Lord help us. May the Lord open the heavens unto us. My brother, my sister, Jesus is coming. Our oh, Jesus is coming. The disciples were sleeping because that was the time that he was about to be arrested. That was the time our Lord Jesus was about to be arrested. He knew everything because he's the Alpha and Omega. Judas was at that time with with the chief priests and they were seeking an opportunity to arrest him he was having a plan with them thinking of how he will betray the lord jesus he came deep and ate with the lord jesus jesus said you are going to betray me yes he went back and did it the same thing many people they look at everything they hear everything they know everything yes sir <laughs> they, they don't want to repent they don't want to have anything with the Lord Jesus Christ. Every day you go to funerals. You go and you come back. You come home. Eat and drink and sleep. Thinking that the people who have died. It is their mistake. They did something wrong. Who told you? Listen to me. My brother listen to me. A child of God listen. We are in the line. We are in a long line. And nobody knows his or her place. I am not saying that you are going to die. It is a fact. They see in life there are some things that are factual. The fact is a fact. You cannot change it. Nobody can change it. It's a fact. When my day come, I'll be called into eternity. It's a fact. You cannot hide it. And that is the reason why when you know that it's fact, you prepare yourself for it. We are in the line. Nobody knows his or her place. And so when it comes to your turn, it's only God that knows your place. That is why the Bible says you come like a thief. Prepare yourself. When you are prepared world, prepare well, you know that when he comes, anytime he comes, you'll be accepted. Our Jesus is coming. Are you sure you're a Christian? Are you sure you're a Christian? You're talking about the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. He came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Again, the disciple, he went back the second time. He came back, they stood. The disciples, they were fast asleep. And then come Jesus to his disciples sleeping. Oh now, uh, and take ye rest. Behold, the hour is at hand. And the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. They had not yet come over there. But Jesus was telling them. And this is why somebody don't understand the Bible. Think that the Bible is just a storybook. Listen to me. Well, if you want it to be a storybook, it can be a storybook. If you want it to be a, 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 a lecture book, it can be a lecture book. But to some of us, to me, it is the power of God unto salvation. It has made the wise simple. It is the gospel that has brought us this far. It, can, it, it gives revelation. It, give, it shows us deeper things of our Lord Jesus Christ. It shows us. It gives us deeper things. It is the word of God. The Bible. May God help us to understand. We want to have time to pray. We will continue to. Uh, at the same time, this week, I am going to preach how they arrested him. And how he was crucified. 
and you come back again. And uh, the day and the time nobody knows. And Jesus gave us the parable of the ten virgins. Says five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. Jesus was telling us everything that is going to happen. And there are some people before their ears, before their sight, they hear everything. But yes, the prideness, the little education you have, the little education you have, the little money you have at, at, at your bank accounts, the little car, the car that you have, and everything you think that you are on top of this world. Who told you? If somebody had money, <laughs> Steve Jobs, the CEO of Apple, had money more than anything. But do you, do you know what he said? You can hire somebody to work for you. You can hire somebody to, <laughs> to drive your car. But you cannot hire anybody to carry your disease on your sick bed. When the day of glory come. And that is why the Bible says each one of us will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Nobody will stand it before you. Nobody will stand in your place. You yourself will give accounts. You yourself. That is why we pray that it will not be too late for you. You accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Walk in righteousness. And time Christian, nobody will walk in righteousness. Go to the, the YouTube. Go to the WhatsApp. Go to the TikTok. If you if there is a, a message of the cross, everybody is pushing it away. Everybody is pushing it away. You push it away. One day you seek for it and you never get it. You seek for it and you never get it. And some people they, they hear the word of God and they'll be insulting. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you repent. Say this. The Bible says with the heart we believe. And my confession in the name of Jesus is Lord. With the mouth we believe. That Jesus is Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, I today I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Father, your word says, if anybody be in you, he's a new creature. All things are past, and everything has become new. As I accept you today, may you order my steps until you come or call me from this earth. In Jesus' name, find a church. Go to a church. Not every church that you go, you meet the Lord Jesus. Not every church that you go, you meet the Lord Jesus Christ. Not every church. Again, not every church. There are some churches God has never visited there. God has never been there. Uh, there are some church you you go to a church whereby you when you go to that church and come home you will not live the same life again you will not live the same life you will not continue in your sin because understand this the bible says the wages the recompense that they pay back of sin is death and the bible says so every soul that sin will die so find a, a good church there are good ones there are places that you go, you hear the message of the cross. Somebody said, oh, I won't go to any church. These days, the pastors, there are, they're, they're, not every pastor is fake. <laughs> Without the real, you cannot find the counterfeit. There are some people, they are doing the real work of God. If you go there and the pastor will tell you that you are going to die, you are going to do the, I see this, and so come and pay money, run from that church. They are all evil. They are all evil very sad very sad some of them started preaching good well, but when riches came yesterday i was listening to akosi akosi how akosi was started preaching very good preaching very good he, he has changed listen that the, the church don't the, the church don't help the church don't help if the church the, the church don't do, don't don't pay somebody bill the, the church don't do this we use the church money for oh akosi ewa akosi ewa he started very good don't end very bad don't end very bad. I pray that you repent. I pray that he, uh, he started repenting. <laughs> the church, the reason why God has called us to help the needy, help the poor, help people. The example. Don't let us end very bad because of riches. There are some people because they don't have because they don't have anything. You see them as godly and preaching the righteous. Let money come. Let a little bit come. They forget themselves. Pray that we never be like that. Continue to preach the infallible word of God. And do the right thing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Again, Jesus is coming. Repent.
Hallelujah. Find a church whereby you hear the message of the cross and you never leave the same. You come home, you see that your life, your life is shining. Become a light unto this world. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's end pray we are going to pray open your mouth and begin to thank god bless the name we are praying pray that god help me to live a righteous life my brother my sister there is no other gospel apart from the gospel of righteousness jesus said i came that you may have life and have it more abundantly remember jesus said we should seek the kingdom and the kingdom is the lord jesus christ the kingdom is the lord jesus seek the kingdom <laughs> and it's righteousness see jesus and the righteousness and when you seek Jesus and you seek the righteousness, everything will be added unto you. You don't need anybody to prophesy that tomorrow you are going to receive the whole world. You don't need anybody to tell you that tomorrow the world... <laughs> seek Jesus. Pray. Open your mouth and say, Holy Spirit, help me to know you the more. Open your mouth and pray. You want to know Jesus the more. You want to know him the more. You want to know him. You want to encounter Jesus Christ. Oh, help your mouth and pray that Lord I commit my spirit, my soul I commit my body unto you I want to know you, I want to know you I want to know you, hope your mouth and pray that Lord I want to know you, I want to know you the power of your resurrection the fellowship of your suffering <laughs> Paul came into a point in the Philippians 3 and the verse 10 said I want to know you, I want to know you it takes it takes the spirit of God not everybody know the Lord Jesus Christ Yes, there are many people sitting in the church. There are many people holding the Bible and preaching the gospel. Yes, they don't know Jesus. They have not seen Jesus. They have not seen the Jesus. I pray that, that we, we will continue to know him because he is coming. Everything points towards. Even if he don't come in our time, the set time in heaven he will come. If he tarry for long, the set time in heaven he will come. He, he is going to come. The set time. In heaven, he is going to come. Open your mouth and pray that, Lord, I want to know you. I want to know you, Jesus. Oh, show me. Open my eyes. Open my understanding. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Spirit of God. Help me to understand you. In the name of Jesus. Somebody continue to pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, seek in the Lord Jesus. Seek in the Lord Jesus. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name, of Jesus. In the name pray the Lord help me to know you, Jesus. Not just somebody who has been called, but be among the few that have been elected. Even the Bible says those who have been elected by God, many of them will be deceived. Matthew 24, 24. I pray that I will never be deceived. There are people that know the scripture, but because they have read many things, they become confused. A woman of God who said she's a reverend was asked, Do you believe the Bible? She said, You don't believe the Bible. She don't believe the Bible. I said, Wow. She don't believe the Bible because the Bible was written by human beings. Who do you want them to write the Bible? You want you 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 think that it's just like a storybook. <laughs> I pray in the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister, open your mouth and pray. Holy Spirit, help me to know you. And understand your death. Many years by this time, Jesus Christ was going to face it that we may have life. Pray. Say, Lord, help me. Somebody want to know him. Not going to church. Not just holding the Bible. No, not just holding the Bible. But having an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at the disciples who were called to follow Jesus Christ. But Paul was encountered. Paul, they would tell Paul, hey, the city that we are going, people are waiting there to kill you. They said to die is gain and to live is Christ. To die is gain and to live is Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus that you know the Lord Jesus Christ. Him only. I pray. Just open your mouth and say, Father, I want to know you. Jesus, I want to know you. I want to know you. Life is all about Jesus Christ. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I want to know you. I want to know you, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Alpha and Omega. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, committing our listeners, our viewers. We pray in the name of Jesus. We bring them each and every one. People are far near, far near the Lord Jesus. Father, you encounter them. Father, you encounter them. Father, you encounter them. You reveal yourself to them. And they will have a godly sorrow. 
and come to you jesus christ there is no other god there is no other god he said that you came to seek for those who are lost i pray that i'm on jesus christ the father you encounter them Encounter your people, encounter them everywhere in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, continue to pray. We are praying. Hear the Lord. Unto Jesus I surrender, unto Him I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him in His presence daily. I surrender. Surrender all to the Lord Jesus. Surrender your life. My brother, my sister, surrender your life. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't listen to any voice. Don't listen to the people around you. And people will talk you out. Some people will mock at you. And people will tell you it is not true. And people will tell you that he's not coming. But he came that you may have life. It's only Jesus. I did not know him. We will go to church with my mom, especially when I he see them praying. We will be laughing at them. We will be laughing at them. We look at them. Their faces. We look at we, uh, some people who be in the spirit. You look at their faces and we will be laughing. We'll be laughing until I encounter the Lord Jesus Christ. Until I saw the Lord Jesus Christ, then I realized that oh, it is it's true. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me and showing me the way. Thank you. And you did not allow me to perish. And I, I thank God for my mother's prayer. My mother's prayer. Oh, this woman, you live long. Thank God for my mother's prayer. My mother will be over, over every day pray. You wake up in the, at midnight. She, she, she's praying. In the morning, she's praying. This woman will be praying every day. Praying every day. And the Lord, we encounter the Lord. Pray for your children. Pray for, 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 for your children. And if my mother did pray for me, then I have to also pray for my children. I have to pray. I know one day, if God called me into eternity, one of the testimonies my children will give that our father knew the Lord. They will say it. My children will say it. My children will say it because if we don't pray, even one day, I am so busy and we don't pray, they will, come, they will call me. Daddy, we did not pray. Show them the way. The Bible says we should teach them the way. When they grow, they will never depart from it. I love the Lord Jesus Christ because He first loved me. Let's pray our last prayer. There are people who have a need that they want a divine. I'm going to pray for you. There are people at their sick bed. I give one more time. They need another chance in the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe you have had many chances. But let, let this be a last chance. That you will not go into the world. The world has nothing. Because the Bible says the world at last. And everything is passing away. But those who that do the will of God. They abide forever. I want to pray for you. That God will give you another chance. Give you a healing. And turn your life around. And give your life to Jesus Christ. He is the Aphenomica. Open your mouth and let's pray. Father we pray for our viewers. Our listeners on the radio. Facebook, YouTube, everywhere on the TikTok and Instagram, we pray for them. How oh, Jesus Christ, that as you encountered you, your people, encounter poor, encounter people, so you encounter them. Let not let them perish. This world has nothing to give them. We pray for men and women of God that holds the gospel and hold it and uh, uh, preaches and lead your people astray. We pray that you will encounter them. Yes, you said, your word says that judgment will begin in the house of God. We pray that none of them will perish. Your word says you don't want them to perish. Encounter them. Encounter them. Encounter them. Show yourself unto them in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. 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 On your sick bed, pray. In the prison, pray. Everywhere that you are, pray that you know Jesus Christ. It's just it's only the word of God that makes the wise the simple. It's only the word of God that can change someone to live a life, a righteous and a humble life. It's only the Bible. It's only the Bible. It's only the Bible. Pray. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I commit my soul, my spirit, my body unto you. May the Lord help you. May the Lord help you, my brother, my sister. May the Lord help you. 
in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray. I pray for those who are on their sick bed. May you heal them. I pray healing for them. Those who are caring, those who are confused, those who need your help, those who need your divine intervention, those who have given their life to you and the enemy is fighting their job, fighting their life, fighting. Father, I stand in the blood. I pray in the name of Jesus for them. I pray for them. The Father, may you contend with them. The contend with them. May you bless their handiwork. Bless your people. If you don't bless them, if you don't bless them, the world will say that where is their God? They that live a righteous life. They that have set themselves apart from you. They that do your will. I pray for them. I pray for them. God, I stand in the gap for them. I stand for them. Lord, you, you intervene in their behalf. Contend with any demonic enemy, any spirit that will fight their handy job. May the fire of God, as Paul and Silas spirit, you responded with an earthquake. Let an earthquake enter the camp of the enemy. Let it enter the demonic dungeons and come in the walls and begin to strike them. We pray for divine protection for your people. Bless them. Bless your people. Your word says your eye is running to and fro throughout the world. You are seeking for the righteous to show yourself strong. Show yourself strong on behalf of the people who are living a righteous life. Living a life. Those who have denied the world and taken up their cross. Give them peace. Ground them peace in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless your time on the radio. It's up. Papa, God bless you. Bless you, Papa. Bye. Let's end our those on the radio. We end on the radio for them. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, my brother, my sister, everybody that you are listening to us. Remember, we are preaching about the death, uh, the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. He, he, was, he was killed to fulfill a purpose that you and myself will have a life and have it abundantly. So, Remember, Jesus will come. Your pastor will not tell you. Nobody will preach it. Because nobody, when you begin to preach the good news of Christ, nobody will want to listen to you. <coughs> Everybody, they will push it away. Nobody want to hear anything about the cross. Yeah, people don't want you to tell them that sin is treacherous. They want you to tell them that nobody want to hear. Nobody want to hear about it. But I will tell you, I'll tell you, one of my daughters have been calling me. And, uh, I know, she, you see, uh, have been calling me. Uh, uh, Mommy, I'll call you, but right now, forgive me. <laughs> when uh, I want to do the will of Father, and I'll come back to you. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. Share our messages for us. Share it on your platform. Uh, when you go, people will share it. About 5,000, 10,000. The world knows this. The world knows this. The world is one. And so you see the devil and his cohorts, how they are working together. Now they are building, uh, it says, they are building a one world order. And how they, they are getting together to do it. How they are getting together. But Christians preach the truth. You own fellow Christians or not. God bless those of you who share for, for us. May it be a key and open every door to you. May the Holy Spirit command every blessing in your life. Remember, without Jesus, you can do nothing. God bless you. Again, let me thank everybody. The people are many, and you don't want to thank somebody and leave other. But I want to thank you all. Continue to help us to propagate the true gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Love you all. Bye.